Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Jerry Schaefer. We're going to be discussing his amazing book, Cruising Through the Teens, Easier Than It Seems. Available for purchase through Amazon, barnesandnoble.com. But people, if you want to gather everything that Jerry has in store, well, do yourself a favor and head directly to his personal site. And it's called expandjoy.com. There you'll find more information on Jerry, more information on this fantastic book, as well as find hyperlinks set up to take it to the purchasing pages. But that's not all, okay? Because listen, the anchor for today's interview is all about cruising through the teens, but that's not the only book that Jerry has written, okay? When you start to do research on him, you're going to come across some other titles that he's written as well, one of which is called Women, Down Through the Ages, How Lies have shaped our lives next we have isn't it kind of funny that and then lastly we have the story of you all of which again are available for purchase through amazon and as well as barnesandnoble.com head on over to his personal website though expandjoy.com to gather everything that he has in store and hopefully much much more on the horizon And before we go any further, I do want to take this opportunity and point out that Jerry was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by one of the best advertising firms in the business and people you already know. I'm talking about you, our link, print, and media. So listen, if you're a writer out there, you have a book that you've written, although you find yourself at a crossroads because you need help moving it. Well, do yourself a favor and contact you, our link. They're one of the best in the business to do it. This is what they specialize in, people. Their team is standing by to assist you in maximizing your creative endeavors. So head on over to URLinkPublishing.com today and gather all of the ways that they're going to help you do just that. And listen, it is a true pleasure, an absolute delight to have Jerry here on the line. Now, right there in the title, there's no beating around the bush, okay? You got an idea of the conversation we're about to have. And I'll tell you one thing, I'm here for it, okay? Now, it it seems like an eternity ago that I was a teenager and I was going through that phase and that chapter in my life. But one thing is certain, I mean, listen, listen, the memories are still there, okay? And some of the, some of the, dare I say, scar tissue is still apparent, okay? Because we know, people, being a teenager is not the easiest thing in the world, We also know that teenagers tend to be a bit dramatic and over-embellish certain things. And I wish a book of this magnitude was available to me when I was going through it, because I'll be the first to throw myself under that bus. There were so many things that I just got overworked by and thought that the world was coming to an end with the slightest thing. But we understand there's a lot of pressure on teens today, and uh, listen, I'm glad I'm not a teen Growing up today with all this technology and that added layer of pressure that they they face. But this is an inspirational narrative. This is a self-help guide to really help teenagers through those tough years and really help them hone, hone it in and have a better perspective on how to accomplish things and get past it. And like the title says, it's easier than it seems. Now, it may not seem that way in the moment, but I promise you when, you, when you shift your perception, and you learn some new techniques, you'll come to the comprehension that it is just that. It is actually easier than it seems. And at the end of the day, Jerry is the expert. Okay, He's written the book, he's done the research, and he's going to be able to articulate everything much better than I ever could. But do me a favor, sit back, strap in. And have your notebooks ready, because this is about to be a wonderful education that we're all going to receive. And by the time we've concluded, you're going to run to Amazon and Barnes & Noble and purchase your copies. I promise you that. Jerry, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you very much for being a guest. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great, Benji. Thanks. Enjoy being here. Absolutely. Listen, the joy is is truly ours, man. We're looking forward to this. I think what you're doing here is special for so many reasons, but... Anybody that has been through those teenage years understands what you're talking about here and understands the value that your book carries. 
So we're looking forward to this. Thank you for writing it. Thank you even more for being a guest to discuss it. Before we go into the book, though, Jerry, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your background, please. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I was uh, born in, in Cutbank, Montana, a small town. And so I went to high school there for one year. And then I went to a boarding high school in Wisconsin for the other three years. So I went to had experience at two different, very different high schools. And then uh, mm-hmm. in my adult life, I taught at a middle school in Los Angeles for about 20, 25 years. So that's kind of my experience with kids. And I, I did have a, a kind of a rough time in, in, in high school um, and especially the transition between the schools. So I kind of wanted to you know, say something to to teens, what I learned, what some ways that they might have a way of handling some of the difficult things that come up. And uh, so that's kind of why I was kind of inspired to write this, just so that everybody doesn't have to go through some of the same, same stuff that I did. Yeah. Well, listen, you know, Jerry, as I mentioned, man, I, I think what you're doing is profound, and I'm glad that you did, right? Because, listen, for a few things, first and foremost, from a relatable standpoint, uh, we've all been anybody that, you know, has gotten past that. Everybody's been a teenager and we understand what that means and some of the pressures that come along with it. But also, people, we know that the information provided in this book not only is coming from a knowledgeable place from experience through his teenage years, but also, as he mentioned, he's been an educator for you know multiple decades. I think he said it was 25 years. So this is coming from a knowledgeable place from just working and being around teenagers as an adult. And side note, for someone that has had a very brief stint in education myself but knows a lot of educators around me in my personal circle – Listen, man, thank you for all of the work that you have done and continue to do shaping the minds of future generations because teachers and educators alike never get the amount of credit that they deserve for all of the hats that they have to wear and how difficult of a career path that is. And they damn sure don't get paid enough. So thank you for your work that you've done, and we truly appreciate it. Without further ado here, Jerry, Let's jump in. Let's talk about the book in a little bit more detail. Cruising through the teens easier than it seems. Tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, sure. So, um, so one, one of the things I didn't want to do is, is talk down to teenagers. So I'm, I'm kind of coming at them as some as one of them, sort of, and, mm-hmm. and not telling them what they should do. And I'm, I'm letting them know that they're kind of in charge. That one thing that they can do if they're really depressed about not getting invited to a party or having some spat with their friends and they're not sure of themselves is for them to just slow down, take a minute, take a deep breath and go inside themselves and listen to themselves, get in touch with their inner being, so to speak, and find the answer there because that's where it ultimately comes from. That's why I it's part of the title. I think some teenagers, they look at the title and they roll their eyes. <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure, easier than it seems. Yeah, tell, tell me more. So that's kind of where, and, and I also, you know, try to get a little bit of humor in. And I think any book that I write, if, if it doesn't have any humor in, I don't think it's worth writing or reading. So there's right. you know, a little bit of that in there, too. And I have actual situations in there, dialogue between teenagers that are, you know, that are going through some things. And, um, and I also include some you know, uh, cyberbullying, you know, things going on today that kind of keep it, uh, some of the things they're facing today. Yeah. You know, that's a fantastic segue that, that you've established here for us, Jerry, because that's the next place that I wanted to go. I know that you offer so many helpful tips in your narrative. And again, people, this is a very informative and educational guide. Now, we know, uh, Jerry, that, listen, today's teenagers are dealing with something that we didn't have to when, when we were growing up, right? Like, technology was not advanced when I was a teenager. I think the internet was really just starting to come around. And, you know, we were, some of my friends were kind of dabbling in it. But it was not something that we were really that exposed to. I mean, when I was growing up and I was a teenager, we were outside and we were playing. That's kind of the way it went. And the bullying that we had to deal with... It was vastly different 
than what children today yeah. are dealing with. So if you can maybe offer a tip, you know, a little bit of a teaser, because people you know, I mentioned it already, Amazon and Barnes & Noble, expandjoy.com. There's no getting around it. you got to purchase your copies. But since we have you here on the line, Jerry, for teens today, dealing with that cyber bullying aspect, <laughs> how do we contend with that? How do we process it and really learn to stand clear of it? Yeah, yeah, that's really a good question. But, uh, and it is vastly different today for teenagers than, than for us. But I mean, some of the same mechanisms, mechanisms are going on, like, like Mac, when, when we were younger, then there were the rumors mm-hmm. and all the uh, locker room gossip. And, and uh, so it was kind of transmitted that way. What I tell teens, one of the things I tell them is that, you know, you need to try to detach a little bit from that device in your head learn to not uh get too wrapped up in it you know and and i know it's difficult and maybe impossible for them some of them but i'm that's part of the thing is because when all that stuff is swirling around on the uh on the internet and and you might be involved i mean one way i think it's it's opt out you know don't get don't don't look at it you don't get caught up in it i mean that's one one tactic one piece of uh things that they can do and and yeah, think just try to not having it on you, not opening it up for say a few minutes a day or an hour a day. Get used to not being so addicted because I think that's part of it. Part of it that is they get so wrapped up in it and that kind of dictates how they think and how they live, and um, it's not healthy. That's, that's one way of yeah. looking at it. You know, Jerry, that is fantastic advice. Thank you so much for sharing. And people, listen, I, I have to refrain because there's so much that I want to get into. There's so many things that I want to talk about because there's so much pertaining to this discussion. And as a parent myself, I'm here and I'm wanting to go. Now, luckily, I don't have any teenagers yet, but she'll be there eventually. And, you know, this is something I know I'm going to have to contend with. Right. So I have to continue to remind myself, Benji, this is not about you. As I mentioned to you before, (laughs) this is not the only book that Jerry has written. Okay, he has another one titled Women Down Through the Ages, How Lies Have Shaped Our Lives. For the sake of the interview, I'm going to switch gears here, and I do want to briefly touch up on that as well because I think it's so important to really learn a little bit more about it because I think that's a magnificently beneficial book as well. Jerry, please tell us about that other title and go into a little bit of a synopsis of it. Yeah, sure. Um, So so let's women uh, down through the ages is basically how women have been treated from Adam and Eve till now. Like they got a, we got kind of a bad start out the gate and it's been kind of downhill. And so it's just sort of throwing, I mean, some of the things that we've done to them through the centuries are so ridiculous that, you know, it's almost laughable. So again, in this book, it's, it's a, I mean, there's some humor brought in. Um, and, you know, interestingly enough, then there's there is a tie-in with because it's about patriarchy and I think patriarchy is kind of behind the difficulties that teenagers face. I mean it's yeah it's it's that division, competitiveness, power of things, and and this so that there there's there there is a connection there. But so yeah, the the women down through the ages uh, patriarchy is one of my uh, one of my really topics that I have a lot of uh, interest in and. And um, I think it speaks to what's going on in our world right now. Uh, I think patriarchy is, in a sense, coming to an end because it's reaching its logical conclusion as we almost reach the end of the universe. But I think it's, patriarchy is kind of behind that. So, mm-hmm. so that's, that's why I'm very interested in it. Listen, man, you said a mouthful there. And, and hang on. the world is changing people the world is changing and what worked or well i don't even know if i can say the patriarchy ever ever actually worked but what was accepted yesterday is not going to be accepted tomorrow and and this is a fantastic narrative to also embark upon because it's really something that will help shift your perception most likely yeah or if this is something you're already on the right track for it's something you're already believing in this is something that'll maybe help Reimpress uh, in a, a per- perception that you already have. So this is fantastic. You know, culmination of all of your work of art here, Jerry. 
what would you say was a highlight for you in your journey? Or if not a highlight, maybe something that surprised you that you weren't anticipating before you began writing? I think one of the one of the highlight surprises was my kind of journey and going through the whole patriarchy narrative. I mean, mm-hmm. it, because it, it, I had to, re, I had to face the reality of the, the attraction of women and, and being looking at them all the time. And one of the things I had to do is change my perception of women going from seeing them as sex objects to seeing them as actual human beings. as person. Yeah. And at the end of that, I mean, I ended up, Wow, it was like a revelation, you know, just looking at them completely differently and, and um, you know, not being afraid of them, being very comfortable around them. So I think that's one of the things that I would highlight. I love that. Listen, as a man, I can I can agree, right? I, mean, I think growing up as, as a teenager, right, your your hormones are going crazy and you may look at things from a, from <laughs> one particular lens. But with age, with experience that starts to shift and things get much clearer. And I love the fact that you just said that. I know a lot of my my women audience members are going to love that too. This is fantastic, people. You already know what you got to go. These are wonderful resources to add to your shelf. I'm going to take it a step further, though. These are better gifts to add to someone else's. Because of the educational aspect to it, people, these are much bigger than literary creations. These are lifestyle changes. And can we stop and just acknowledge how much the world, how beautiful the world could be if we really started to look at things through a particular prism in that way? When we're talking about women, seeing women as equal, not as just sexual objects, right? Not as as just trophies to be held or to be won. That is fantastic. When we talk about teenage years and we talk about bullying, And we analyze it from different perspectives. What type of world we would have with just acceptance and love and respect. My goodness. I'm telling this. My mind is going down the rabbit hole here. You all know where you got to go. Amazon and Barnes & Noble, man. Head on over to expandjoy.com. Those are the two titles that we discussed. But remember, he also has two other ones. One is called The Story of You. Lastly, isn't it kind of funny that, and at the end of it is dot, dot, dot. You got that ellipses there. So make sure to keep that included when you do the search. You know, I, I, I'm an artist myself here, Jerry, and I, and I love to really add a way of paying it forward when whenever the opportunities present themselves. Now, you are someone that is a bona fide author, right? You're an educator by nature and really by career. And even through your works of art, that education aspect is, is, is constantly showing up. Well, I want to take this opportunity for any writers out there that are just embarking upon this journey. What are some words of wisdom that you'd be able to offer them about the journey they're getting ready to embark upon and what to look out for? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would say just keep going. I, it's, uh, <laughs> it's been a, surpri- a surprising a- adventure for me and uh, a-, a rewarding one. But I, I think it helps to find uh, groups to help you. Like like your link has been uh, helpful for me, and, mm-hmm. and uh, um, that that's key. I think that's uh, because it, it's hard. No, no matter how good you, what your writing is, if you don't have a way of getting out there, and, and that's that's a tricky proposition. Yeah. I would just say, don't give up. Keep going. You've got something to say. It needs to be said. There will be an audience. Mm-hmm. You know, two fantastic pieces of, of wisdom there. First and foremost, the way he said, just keep going, right? It reminds me of one of my favorite movies, Finding Nemo, where Dory is like, just keep swimming. And great advice there for life in general, because we know adversity is part of the game. And as difficult as it may be to get past them in the moment by just continuing to persevere and fight through it, people that experience leads to wisdom, right? And that wisdom is going to help you for the next challenge that you come across. So just keep going. I love that. But also the second one in terms of having, having your assistance, right? Having your team around you, As a parent, I remember one thing that kept getting brought up to me was, you know, investing in your village, right? Having that village around you, because we've all heard the adage, right, when it comes to raising children is that it takes a village. Listen, you can do it on your own. It's a lot easier when you have that support system. 
So this definitely this was advice for writers, but I'm going to take it a step further. This is advice for anyone. I don't care your background, your position. It doesn't matter. That advice you could take to the bank. And those are some gems there. And listen, it just keeps on giving because when you pick up these books and you read those words on the pages, you're going to be gifted with so much more. So I said it before. I'll say it again until I'm blue in the face. You already know where you have to go. I'm just going to repeat the titles just to re-impress it one last time. Because, of course, Jerry Schaefer is the one you need to thank for all of this. We've presented it on the network, but he's created these wonderful gifts that you're going to want to pick up. The one we talked about first was called Cruising Through the Teens, Easier Than It Seems. Then we touched up on women down through the ages, how lies have shaped our lives followed by the story of you. And then lastly, isn't it kind of funny that pick up these fantastic books, people check back in to expandjoy.com frequently. And as well as his Amazon and Barnes and Noble pages, because I know uh, the the journey is just going to continue. I hope there's plenty more on the horizon to get lost in because we need this. These are fantastic narratives that you're going to want to add to your shelf. Jerry, this has been a true pleasure, man, an absolute delight. Thank you once again for being a guest on People of Distinction. Thank you, man.